Whoa! America breaking news. I know it's like Super 2. And today, what's being reported is that the Combs is Christian Combs. Justin Combs. I don't know if Quincy was there. But reports are coming out that they tried to pop it off on Ray J. Whoa! Now, ladies and gentlemen, we got some exclusive footage. A Hazel E speaking with TMZ about this. And Ray J's manager also has some, you know what, America, peep this. And we gonna pull back up because th this is a very surprising encounter. But America, peep this. What's going on, David? How are you today? How are you, buddy? I'm doing good. Now, I know you were at Tara's, you know, Halloween party over the weekend. Can I really? Uh, can I add? Yeah, unruly. Yeah. How was it? amazing it was amazing the party of the year party of the year now there's a lot you know of information coming out about that party you know did his sons you know getting into a altercation Nobody's with ray j gonna press ray j okay it's not gonna happen i mean anyone could come and try to press ray but it's not gonna happen so okay. that was an unfortunate incident and you know it was a great party that got ruined by little kids trying to fight a big boy okay and sometimes you just can't have that happen so i know that you you know broke up the fight with diddy's kids and ray j with chris brown can you yeah. tell me about that i mean it just was unnecessary like everybody's all family one way or another no matter what people are dealing with in the world even though the combs family's dealing with they're dealing with ray deals with his life chris deals with his life there's no reason for everybody to be fighting and I mean, listen, Ray is just not a guy that you're going to go impress like that. And especially if you're at like one of our events, it's not going to happen. Okay. So luckily it didn't escalate any further and everything is all good. Okay. So really quickly before you go, I do want to ask you, you know, what was being said, you know, from both sides? What were Diddy's kids saying to Ray J? What was the argument? I mean, Diddy's kids were just, they were upset that Ray was, you know, doing what Ray does. Ray is a television personality. He's made 2,000 hours of television. Every week he's in interviews. Every week he's talking about stuff. He's going to say whatever he's gonna say. You're gonna live with it. You're gonna like it. It don't matter, but nobody's gonna press Ray J, period. All right, thanks man, I appreciate you. Kinda ensued at the end of the party when we were um, trying to ex exit the building, actually. Um, I honestly just saw like Christian, Justin, Quincy kinda start circling Ray a little bit words were exchanged things started getting heated as we um went into the parking garage you know i feel like chests were being bumped uh ray had a backpack and from the last situation we were outside with the zoo stuff he went around and tried to go grab his backpack and he had this satchel on so i'm like satchel does he steady. have a blower in there like oh, wow. i don't want it to really like get to this level so uh -huh. i don't know where chris brown hops out the car like a freaking leprechaun out of the magically delicious sky and like honestly he started breaking it up i try to talk to quincy christian get their stance on it and let them know that this wasn't the time and the place i understand emotions are high yeah and i understand what they're going through but for the betterment everybody get in a better space i pray that all parties can resolve things equally um you know and, so uh, from what you've seen did things ever exactly get physical or was it just words exchanged was there any you know steady. fist uh, thrown or um it definitely was like a, a, a chest bump push okay. back pull up the pants mm -hmm. kind of vibe but yeah. the way chris came out and just like like i mean i swear he took justin and christian at the same time and just got both of them i grabbed quincy the other security start you know uh, his manager, David, they're secure. They grabbed Ray. So it was like before actually like things all the way ensued, mm -hmm. you know, we had a couple of angels by our side. <laughs> so do you think that had Chris Brown not been there, that the situation could have gotten, you know, worse or gone? Oh, you were, you were worried about, you know, shots being fired. Yes, yes, absolutely. I feel like if Chris wasn't like the bigger voice of reason in that Satchel moment, steady. I don't think anything that any of us were saying would have toned the situation down. So um, honestly, yeah, Chris really did help the help the situation. I don't know when Chris became the big homie. You know well, what I'm well, saying? After we're just trying to get Ray calmed down because at this point he feels like he got pressed. He got pressed by the Combs kids, mm -hmm. and he's like, you know, a grown man, OG from LA. He feels like they in his city. You know what I'm saying? So his emotions were definitely high, running rampant. Um, you know, we we try to get him in the sprinter. David, Amber, and I try to like continue to press him down because mm -hmm. where he was at it still probably would have kept going 
had David being Ray J's manager and yeah, Amber David, Rose. Yeah, David Weintraub, that's uh, Ray J's manager, Amber Rose. Um, yeah, we try to grab him in our sprinter, you know, and try to get him up out of there because, you know, where he was going in his mind, it wasn't going to, like, be a good night. So have you talked to Ray J since? How is Ray J feeling about the situation now? Are you able to speak um, on it? Yeah, I definitely talked to him, and he definitely feels like, you know, they was out of pocket, and, you know, uh, things got to be addressed. Pum Buckleye, the corms them, the corms them. Y'all trying to pop it off on Ray J, whoa. I thought Ray J and Diddy was cool. When I seen Ray J going on his tour, his online tour talking about taking ass, I was like, whoa. Ray J, what he did a few days ago, Orlando Brown, he was speaking with Funny Marco. And Ray J made a surprise cameo appearance and I, I found it interesting. I'm like, we know that them... Orlando Brown, he was just with Jaguar Wright. And then Ray J pops out in the interview. Ray J has been doing some controversial things as of recent. Hey yo, y'all heard y'all heard King Combs? Y'all heard Christian Combs on that song? He was popping it. He was going at the feds. He dissed 50 Cent. And he said, if any of y'all talking about no Diddy, he gonna pop it off on y'all like how his pops would. Yeah, I see how he looked just like the listen. King yeah, now listen, yeah. Whack 100. Come on. Y'all yeah, you know that Whack 100 and Ray J is like Whack is like Ray J's manager. So now King Combs, you actually y'all actually creating a little bit more problems. Think about it. Diddy is on the inside. He was complaining about the food, the conditions in the in the prison. They ain't give him no bill. These new allegations keep coming out. It seems like every two days it's more allegations. And now y'all giving y'all pops problems on the street side. And then on top of that, he got to worry about them while he's in the can. And you over there on the West Coast, you playing around trying to pop it off on Ray. Yo, hey, yo, Ray J's a goon. Ray J told y'all that he had the booty goons. He was going to set them on fab. I mean, America, come on. Yo, so I'm saying, for the Combs, them, got to understand. If Ray J, if Ray, these Ray J said that eight of them tried to pop it off on him, y'all. I don't know what's going on, but I think that Orlando Brown interview, some of Ray J's media appearances some of his appearances on some of these news broadcasts they've maybe been rubbing some people the wrong way ray j if you listen to the funny marco interview he mentioned some things about how can those behaviors be removed f before it gets too crazy so before an artist or a, a famous person even rises to a figure of prominence how can things be set up to remove those behaviors and he was speaking on that from more of a mature vibe but if we're being honest we don't know if they're on ray j ass we literally don't know if they prob ray j's name could have got i hope i don't think ray j's name got caught up in that but at the same time it's like ray j he also gotta clear his name ray j's Oh, probably like look i gotta let is know that i'm not on that he gotta let is know that he's not on that side and then even some of ray j's some of the dealings in ray j's network is ray j's just doing his thing he's just clearing up his name and i don't see how that's a problem for the combs kids but it's like yo y'all y'all kind of playing around in a different field right now when y'all trying to pop it off on ray j you feel me but America, y'all let me know who's walling. Is Ray J walling? Is the Combs walling? Is Whack 100 walling? Is Diddy walling? Who's walling? America, make sure y'all subscribe. It's Select Super Tool. Satch Aesthetics. Let's get it. Big B. Yeah.